Okay. Okay. So video number two, um, better setup hopefully today. I am in my bedroom, so ignore the like canopy bed that we don't have a canopy on behind me. Um, I've got, <laughs> I stole an LED light from my husband and I'm set up on the sewing table, but it'll be okay. We're going to do this today. Also, I can't decide if I want the light in this bedroom on or off. I've been playing with that for a little while, so this is on, but I feel like if I move my head just a little bit, then it, like, is blinding in the camera. But if I turn it off, then it's, like, dark and creepy, which I don't have anything wrong with dark and creepy, but I don't know. So if you have a preference on or off, we're going to do on today because I feel like that gives me better lighting. But leave comments <laughs> if there's a preference as far as viewing the video. Um, I do have on my favorite... Ariel shirt today. I love it a lot. But anyway, um, I went <laughs> grocery shopping, honestly, at a like bargain center where they like buy out entire stores that are like going out of business or have damage or whatever. Um, and then so it's all like stuff that's like, like really, really clearanced and you just kind of find a gambit of things. Um, I went in there to get like canned goods and things that don't spoil they always have a lot of those um and they had those like really really discounted this week um so i went in for those but i went to the beauty section because why not and i got some things and some new things that i haven't ever tried one thing that i love but so then some things that i um was able to find that i haven't tried yet so i'm gonna do kind of a like haul slash try on um, I'm not going to do a full face of makeup today because I didn't get a full face of makeup and I'm going to take a shower after this. So we're not doing eyeshadow and highlighter in the whole gamut, but I'm going to try on a little bit of what I got today because um, I got some good deals. And so it'll allow me to try some new things without like spending a lot of money on things that may or may not work. Um, so I managed to get, we'll talk about this first because I this is the Hask um, dry shampoo in the, I don't know, it's the pink one. Um, it doesn't really list the scents very well, but it's the pink one. And this smells like it almost reminds me of like a strawberry scent. It's very light and very, very fruity. And I love it. Hask um, is cruelty free, which is number one A important. Um, but it also is like one of the better dry shampoos that I've ever tried. Um, it, I don't feel like it leaves a ton of film in my hair. It works. Like I have super, super oily hair, um, especially towards the end when I need to get it dyed again. And this stuff works. And then this, there's one, I think it's the blue colored bottle that like, I'm just not a fan of the scent. It's not for me. I'll use it. The product still works great as far as like cleaning my hair not a fan of the scent. Um, the gray bottle, it's like charcoal something. It says charcoal something on front, but it's a gray, like dark gray bottle. I like it. The scent is just kind of neutral. So it's whatever, but this scent I love. This is my favorite dry shampoo. So I bought like six bottles of this today because they were like less than $4 a piece. So <laughs> I like every time I'm at this store and I see these, I grab them um, because for a really nice dry shampoo, like that's really, really good. So I got some of those. And then the other thing that I got that I'm semi familiar with that I'm not going to put on today, <laughs> um, I got some Ardell Wispies. I don't know. I think I have these exact ones, but I went ahead and picked them up because I got them for, they were $1.70 for Ardell fake eyelashes. So, um, I went ahead and grabbed these just as an extra set, um, since they were so cheap. They had some other ones like the natural ones and stuff, but I just grabbed one set cause I was, sh don't wear them every day. I don't hardly wear them like, but a few times a month. So I was trying not to go crazy with the <laughs> fake eyelashes, but I did grab those. Um, and then to the new stuff I grabbed, um, which we're going to see which one of these works best on me and try this on today. The Wet n Wild Photo Focus 
foundation. Oh gosh, this LED light is really bright. I feel like I'm gonna burn my retinas trying to do this with this light. There we go. <laughs> but it'll be okay. <laughs> um, I got it in the shade. This one is Shell Ivory. And then I got it in the shade Porcelain. Because I opened them and looked at them, but without like swatching and stuff, it's hard to tell what your color is going to be. And I figured like they're really close. I figure if nothing else, like if this one works for me now, this one might in the summer. I'm Tanner. <laughs> so I went ahead and got them both um, because they were only two. No, that's not them. They were really, really cheap. Like really, really. That's what it was. Two twenty four. They were two twenty four a piece. So I grabbed those. Um, I've heard good things um, about these um, from some people that I've watched on YouTube. Um, so I've kind of been thinking about trying it out. But since I saw them at this um, like closeout store, I was like, perfect time to grab those. And then I also got from Wet n Wild um, this bronzer. It says it's a bronzer. Um, it's the shade Reserve Your Cabana. Um, but... Um, it, like, I need to open this. It just looks, if you can't see it in the package, it looks really, really pale. Like, I have, like, you would have to be, a, like, a ghost for this to be a bronzer. This has got to be the worst bronzer on the face of the earth, color-wise. So, I got this, and I kind of did a little research on my phone while I was in the store, and it looks like other people have done this before, too. Um, I'm going to use this as an all-over face powder to set foundation and see how that goes because this looks like a color I might pick out if this said setting powder on it so we're gonna try that and see how that goes and I did get two of them but they are the same powder in the same shade um, I just went ahead they were like two dollars a piece 40 so I went ahead and grabbed both of them because like these are huge they're so huge so if this even remotely works so worth it and then I also got um, from LA Colors, I'm trying to look, yeah, this was a dollar twenty. this was a dollar twenty. so I went ahead and grabbed it, it's from LA Colors, which I know is not, like, the most fantastic brand, but I did check, and they are cruelty-free, um, so for a dollar twenty again, that's kind of how I was, like, if it even just kind of remotely works, it's worth the dollar twenty. um, this is a loose powder instead of the pressed powder, I may use this one today, and then try that one tomorrow at work. I don't know. Um, but I'll try out one of the powders. I might do half and half on my face, something. Um, ooh, that's a good idea. We'll do half, half and half. Half and half. Um, but this is the color natural. It's hard to tell in the packaging what the color looks like. So hopefully it's not a terrible color. We'll find out. And then the last thing that I got that's new is um, this, Jord it's the brand Jordana, which I've looked them up and they are cruelty free, which is exciting. Um, because they are a drugstore brand as well. Um, this is the Sweet Cream Matte Liquid Lip Color in the shade Sugarberry Crumble. This was actually this brand. It was so, like, coincidental. This brand was recommended to me this morning by a coworker Because she knows I love Kat Von D's Liquid Lips and that they're, like, way expensive. She's like, these are so cheap. And they work. And she was wearing a different color today and I do not remember what she said her color was but it was a little bit it was on this kind of shade range but a lot deeper it was a very pretty berry color and it looked very very nice on her um and yeah it was very nice so when I saw this one I was like grabbing that to try so we're gonna try some face stuff and some lip stuff and I'm gonna look really funny but I just want to put it on my face and see how it goes and then I'm gonna try to use some of this at work tomorrow and see how that goes and I'll try to do some like um, I won't film while I'm putting it on because I have to work really early for my job. <laughs> um, and sometimes I end up doing my work, my makeup like in a van at work. <laughs> so, um, but I will try to do, if I'm able to, some check-ins. If nothing else, I'll do a check-in after work. Like when I get home, like how things wore and that kind of stuff and let you know kind of how that went. So, let's get started. I have an already pre-moistened beauty blender and a mirror so I can see what I'm doing because it's really hard to look at what I'm doing in a camera. Okay, so let's see what shell ivory looks like. And I don't know. It doesn't have a terrible smell, but it almost smells like 
like house paint. Like when you're painting your walls <laughs> inside your house. So it's not like, I don't know. It's not a terrible scent, but it's not like fantastic either. Yeah, I need to do this in the mirror. Because that <laughs> light is just like blinding. And this one will be the porcelain. Looks like porcelain might be a little too pale for me. Because you can see, this is where I put the ivory and this is where I put the porcelain. So we're going to go with ivory. Because I think that I could be wrong in this bright, bright light I'm not used to. But we're going to go with ivory. Porcelain will definitely be usable. It will definitely be something that I would have to like bronze and blush and adjust for. But I'll hang on to it for a... Just in case day, you just never know. Um, I do think it says that it's supposed to be like full coverage. I don't know. I think it's supposed to help prevent like flashback and stuff. Really oh, Seems to be going on like pretty easy. It doesn't help that I'm jarring my mirror while I'm trying to put this on. Golly, that light is like almost like too bright. I don't know, we'll see. Leave your lighting comments down below, but <laughs> you feel you can see my face or not see my face. I like this. Especially like for the price, like for something just to wear on the daily when you're not like doing anything crazy or don't necessarily need it, you know. I don't know how long the wear time is on it. We'll find out. Um, cause tomorrow's going to be a long work day for me. Um, but as far as like the finish on the skin, I don't feel like it's horrible. I mean, no, it's not like $36 a bottle Kat Von D, but it is full coverage. It covered, like I have some pretty good red on my cheeks normally and my nose, like I look like Rudolph unless I wear makeup. So, but that like is all gone. Um... But it's, I don't feel like it, I mean, I didn't use a pore filling primer or anything like that before this too. So like, yes, I can see my pores. They're still there. But I don't feel like it's like crazy, like accentuating them if that, you know. Like I don't feel like it's like, like they're worse. Like they just are still there normally. And I have ginormous pores. So it's pretty hard even with a primer to like hide them. So I'm impressed. I think this is normally like six dollars or less anywhere you get it in a store so even for that price like to get a pretty decent size it's in a glass bottle I'm pretty impressed okay so let's open up the LA colors that I'm gonna make a mess of probably because I always do with the colors I really should probably <laughs> stick to pressed pretty much all the time but you know Hardly ever do what I should do. Wow, 
want this open. I'm gonna make a mess of this. It's gonna happen. Oh, okay, good. Oh, okay, so there's a little weird, like, yellow sponge thing that is probably going to be next to useless. It does have a um, thing in it, so there's not powder everywhere yet. So that's good. <laughs> Um, it is not a screw top like I thought it was. I kept trying to unscrew it, but it, I guess it's just a pull-off top, which I don't know how I feel about that once the seal has been pulled off. How sealed it's going to be with the cap just, like, placed like that. Oh, and this is kind of dark. I don't know if you can see from what's on here. Not really. That's going to be a little dark. But we'll see how this goes. Oh, yeah, that is dark. And I'm, I'm going to make a mess. Mirror, because I can't see in this light. Cannot see. Oh, yeah, that is dark. Okay, if you are pale and pasty, natural is not the color for you in this powder. <laughs> Even on camera, that is a humongous difference. I can tell you that this adds more coverage. <laughs> I'd say that's the only good thing about it not being the right color is I can see like where it's going on and it does add coverage. So if you're looking for that, you know. Um, it is setting down this foundation good. It went on pretty easy. I don't know. It seems to be fine other than this is not the right color for me. And I will probably use this as a bronzer. Maybe. If I can figure out how to do that with a loose powder. But definitely a smaller brush. Which the brush that I'm using for this is one of the new Real Techniques brush. Part of the brush crush collection. I got three of them recently from Ulta when they were having their 20%. They sent me a 20% coupon and then these were like buy two get one free. So I got this one and a blush brush and a fan brush and I love all three of them. Love, love, love. They are A gorgeous and B like this is so soft and fluffy. It blends stuff out really good. It applies like all over powder so easily because it's so just like large and fluffy. It's fantastic. I highly recommend them and they are not like I think regular price they're each like $12.99 ish somewhere in that range um so they're not crazy expensive and then if you can catch them on sale at Ulta I don't know if they still are or not it's been a little while um since I ordered these like a few weeks so they might still be on sale but they might not be. But if you can catch them on sale also, like they're even better priced and they work. I love this brush. This is one of my favorite purchases pretty much ever. Okay, so there's that half of the face set with this really, really dark powder. Because I couldn't tell what color it was. And this was the only one that they had. And I was like, yeah, we'll give it a shot. Okay. Put that back on okay oh and the sponge that I use this is not a beauty blender beauty blender it is a Sephora collection I found these on clearance forever ago for like five bucks a piece and they're an odd shape but this one I bought some purple ones too they're a super odd shape um I'll show you it's like really pointy at the ends and stuff and uh, I don't use those as much um but this one I like because it's got this um like flat there we go this like flat side oh crap it's got like a flat side to it. Um, and I like to use this to apply things. And then if I'm doing anything else for like, like I can use the bottom, the bottom's flat or like this curve sometimes is helpful. Um, I like to use the back side of like this curve sometimes to like go like underneath my like under eye. But yeah, I like this a lot and they are super, super soft. They get like twice as big when you get them wet. They're fantastic. I should have mentioned that earlier, but I am not good at Okay, so now on the other half, we're going to use the Wet n Wild powder, which 
should be a closer color. That one was really dark. And normally when you're super pasty, anything that is like beige or, you know, skin is at least close. That is not even close. I like the like embossed, like, oh, you can't see it. Stupid light. There we go. It says like wet and wild and it's got this like sun ray because it's supposed to be a bronzer. Yeah, not a bronzer. There's no way. It does look like it might be a little bit shimmery. It did not look shimmery in the store. So, we'll see. I didn't mean to just like cut you out there. Oh yeah, this is definitely a better color. This is definitely not a bronzer color on anyone except Casper. Maybe Casper's girlfriend. If he has one. Um, oh, it goes on pretty easy. I don't feel like I'm getting like, I mean there is some like kickback from the product, but that's kind of be expected with just like a big kind of all over powder. I don't know why they made a bronzer thing this big, but you know, I don't feel like it made me look cakey. Uh, it's setting down my, that foundation really good. I mean, complexion wise, I feel like this is a pretty good mix. The wet and wild photo focus with the wet and wild bronzer. That's not a bronzer shade. Like, not bad. I'd wear that out. Okay, so there's that. And, like, seriously, this is huge. For, like, normal price is probably, what, like, four bucks, I'd guess. Um, I think is what they had it marked as. So, um, and then, oh, the lip stuff. And then we'll be done because apparently this is really, really long, which I did not mean it to be, but I'm not good at this. Okay. This smells a little bit sweet, but a little bit not. It's not like one of the like cupcakey smelling ones. Um, whoa, it is really, really bright. It's really, really pretty though. So we're just gonna go for this terrible at putting on liquid lips so just be warned if I get this all over the place that happens sometimes Oh, that sits down pretty fast. That sits down pretty fast. I can already feel it setting down. Um, it is not like an instant, like one coat, perfect coverage. Um, it is a little bit patchy in that sense. Um, but like I was able to like layer on a second layer and I don't feel like this is patchy at all. Like I've got really good color and it is pretty much set down at this point. Like it's, I've got a little bit where like, I don't want to say sticky feeling cause it's not a sticky feeling. Like this does not feel sticky at all. It feels matte. It's just that kind of like, you know, something's there. Like I can feel it there. It's not, or like my Kat Von D, I feel like I don't notice it. I do know it's there but it's not sticky. It's not uncomfortable. I don't feel like it's so drying that my lips are about to scream. And it's pretty much transfer proof at this point. Like I've got a little bit mostly from like the inner part of my lips where I like didn't really do a good job. 
but it like if I do an actual like better kissy face like this is pretty much transfer proof like I just swatched this a little bit ago oh it's not it's smearing a little bit but I don't feel like okay so if you like rub at it it's gonna come up a little bit um, but it's not been on that long you've seen so it does dry down pretty fast I don't feel like it you know it's not something that you're gonna easily like transfer onto everything that you touch you really have to like rub at it to get it off, which I really, really like. And I really, really like this color. I like this color on me. I like, I'd like it better if I could apply it better, but you know. I am bound to have something on my hands by the end of anything I do, so. There's that. Well, that is the end of my video today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. Um, that it was slightly helpful. I am going to, like I said, try to wear some of this tomorrow. I'll probably wear the, um, Wet n Wild, um, combo tomorrow to work. Um, because this is too dark. I might try tomorrow to use this as a bronzer and see how that goes. Um, just to see if it's, like, doable and what it looks like. Um, and then, like I said, I'll try to do some check-ins at least one at the end of the day and kind of go over like how long I felt like it lasted, if it looked any different, if it oxidized, broke down, anything like that. Um, yeah. So you guys have a great day and I will see you hopefully tomorrow.